I'm Laurie Slusser. I'm general manager of Donatech Corporation. And we're located here in Fairfield, Iowa, in Jefferson County, southeast Iowa. But we have a national firm. Uh, the easiest way of thinking of us is um, as an engineering staffing company. Uh, we work a great deal with Rockwell Collins, for example. They're our oldest and largest client. But in fact, we have business all across the country. We work in about 30 states. We hire in two arenas. We have a technical group of contractors, actually, who are long-term employees of ours, but temporary long-term, if that makes sense. Um, and they require an engineering and computer training background, uh, something that is of uh, tremendous demand in the country, but the training is not up to that demand. So we still go through waves of greater demand, greater supply, but by and large, we're going toward a bubble where the demand is going to outstrip the supply in the United States. We are not educating enough people with computer backgrounds, with technology backgrounds, with engineering backgrounds. In our administrative team, we're uh, a smaller group. We only have about 25 to 30 employees here in our headquarters. We have about 350 contractors around the country. So the contractors are technologically based, engineering based. Our administrative team varies from salespeople to technical recruiters to administrators to bookkeeping and finance, the whole range of administrative recruiters. Environment. And with that team, we need a, a subset of skills that range from people skills, working with teams, thinking, being able to solve problems, being able to think out loud, interact well with their team members, and work towards solutions. You know, we often hear about the three R's. Um, and they're fundamental, I don't think, I assume that's never going to change. But I think it's pretty well understood at this point that we have to go beyond that, considerably beyond that. What we're talking about is the ability for people to think deeply about problems and, effective, and, and bringing to bear effective solutions. That means that Education has to provide, both I think at the high school level, at the secondary level, as well as uh, beyond, specialized knowledge, but we have to get away from purely subject by subject orientation and understand how knowledge is integrated and how it ultimately impacts the workplace. So I think today, you know, when we seek out when a, a particular engineer, a contractor, and by the way, we even work occasionally with people in administration, finance, management, there is something we're seeing uh, growing in the marketplace amongst our clients. Regardless of a technical background, a non-technical, more administrative-oriented background, Companies are looking for independent thinkers, solution-oriented individuals, and yet, within that context, people who work together within teams, building teams, working well with others, so that something greater than those individuals comes out as a result. And I think we have to somehow, in the education process, figure out how to engender that in our students. We have to promote that. We have to give them the tools to develop their creativity, to develop their thinking out of the box. Sorry to use that you know, overused cliche, but it's real. So very important that we don't get too lost purely in maths and sciences. We need more maths and sciences. But in addition, 
we need to build individuals who are comfortable in their own skin, who are able to think on their feet, who are able to communicate clearly, who are always oriented towards solutions. I've been in conversations with other business leaders in the community, and we often talk about what's needed at the secondary education level, what's needed at community college level. One of the things that I think is not talked about enough, something that's overlooked, but in fact is a very real component at play, is the impact of the community and in terms of the support that they bring to bear or do not bring to bear uh, with their local school districts. I'm always fascinated when I think about how, and I'm sorry, I, I don't mean at all to get political here. I, I genuinely don't mean it in, in that context. Because educating our children and growing the educational process is, is not political. Every child needs to be armed with the best tools possible to succeed. If we are successful at doing that, we're going to create more employment, we're going to create more success, and we're going to address in a very direct way the problems that we hear so much about nationally and state by state. So it's critical that we're able to reach out to our communities and make community leaders aware that they need to participate, they need to support our schools instead of burdening our schools with um, a lot of things that they must do to fulfill their mandates at state and national or federal levels. They have to support them to arm them with the knowledge of what is needed in the workplace environment what the marketplace is demanding, and they, I think, have to form more effective partnerships with schools so that in turn they could reach out to every family, to every parent, and communicate the message that schools need our community support.